Hi, we with uh, Michael today from uh, at Rage. How's it? Hello. How's it going? Uh, you the senior project manager out here. Yes. So, so I, I pretend to be in charge. <laughs> I've been running around and getting all this excellent. Well, you know, it's not me. It's my, my excellent staff I have working for me. They do all the hard work. I just. Uh, do the interviews and look good on camera, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know from experience that's normally uh, not Very so much. Hard, yeah. You tend to be running around and around working really hard to get yeah. this thing going. And I can see it's a lot bigger even than last year. Yeah, which... it, you know, we, we sold out our exhibition space uh, quite quicker than we ever have before. We actually to turn people away, which I hate doing because that's, you know, it's just depressing to me. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we're expecting more people than we've had before through the doors. So, yeah, it's a good show, and I'm not sure where, why it keeps growing, but uh, I'm not going to complain. I'll just keep riding the, riding the wave, you know? Well, I, I don't know anybody that's actually competing against you. I would say you guys are the, sort of the leaning conviction for gamers well, and gaming. Well, you know, to be fair, um, we do have Nag Magazine. That's, uh, I'm the editor of that. And yeah. Nag's, Rage is kind of Nag's baby. Um, and there isn't, I don't think there's enough space in the market for two shows like this in yeah. this country. Yeah. They normally have one per country, mm. and that's mm. it, because there's a lot of money to run something like yes. this. Yeah. And, I, and I can't see uh, the, you know, the various guys in the country coming up with two sets of, uh, you know, like a cat. It just takes a lot of time. It's yes. like a whole year. So, you know, that, there's no time and no money. So. Okay. Well, speaking about that, I just want to find out how much, how much, when did you guys actually start planning and getting this thing together? Well, we'll basically, if, if you talk to me about Rage in November, I'll shoot you. That's the rule with me. Okay. And then in December, we start thinking about it again. And then when we get back in January, like the 5th of Jan, then we yeah. start already discussing, talking, planning, thinking. And then by February, March, we're in full swing already. So it's quite a, it's quite a challenge every, every year. But right. it's fun, though. Cool. No, no, I can see. Um, I just want to also just start talking about some of the logistics and stuff because I had some questions mm. from some of the guys. Okay. Specifically, more along let's say, the, the gaming side of it. I know you guys also sold out quicker than ever before. Yeah, it's just mad. It was four, it was four hours this, yes, this year. It's, so it's crazy. Crazy, yeah. Crazy, yeah. Um, but the guys want to know, you know, with that, you guys obviously you've got a whole network. I saw yeah. HP was an HP, HP that helped yeah. you again. And uh, Intel as well, the servers. Okay. And then power supplies. And they were actually wondering, you know, do you guys do the networking yourself? Or is it HP that comes through to let, run the cables? No, and no, the power? We, we HP provides us with, uh, I think it was two and a half million rands worth of equipment. Cool. Okay. And then we have uh, fiber connections which we get installed before the show. Mm -hmm. But the actual tables and chairs and power and networking, that's all done by a VC crew. Um, those are the guys we use for the LAN. And they've been okay, doing cool. it for the last eight years without a single hitch ever. So those are the very, guys. Very well yep. done. Uh, it's cool. Do you guys run backup power supplies and stuff like that? There, there is a backup system, but you know, if, if the power fails catastrophically, then yeah, yeah. it's going to go dark for a while until Eskim, you know, puts things back puts on again. Back on. But luckily, we, we had a lot of luck every year. We haven't had any trouble with that sort of thing, you know. So um, cool. Always hold thumbs. And how many gamers are you actually expecting this year? Well, at the land was uh, 2,200 odd, and for the show, it's at least over 20,000 people we should get through over the weekend. Okay, cool. Also, there's a lot of guys doing demonstrations out here. I know right. this Batman Arkham City is yeah. one of the guys we're going to be chatting with the guys later. Um, what are the ones you actually specifically looking forward to? Or? Sure, look, uh, unfortunately, the one I'm really looking forward to isn't here. It's is uh, it? Borderlands 2. That's the one game that I've got my, my heart for uh, for next year. But I mean, Batman's here, which is pretty cool. We've got Battlefield. Uh, you can actually play that now. Yeah, uh, yeah. They've got, like, I think, 32 guys that can play it at the same time. Oh, okay. That's a, cool. It's like early access to that game, which is quite exclusive. And then we got behind closed door scenes with Hitman and Tomb Raider. Uh, you won't see that footage anywhere except behind yes. those closed doors. So no, that's pretty cool. So we're going to try and pop in there, obviously, in no, the recording. Must, yeah. and, it's a, it's a lot of so fun. we can chat about it. Um, also, one of the interesting things I saw this year is you guys got some gaming development guys coming out to, to right, start yeah. teaching and this local development scene. Yeah. Um, do you want to tell me well, a bit more about the, that? The guys, um, they, they have a sort of a, like a development talks uh, downstairs and then they invite, the community knows more about it so they, they end up you know, at, the, at that talk listening to the guys. But these are the guys that did Desktop Dungeons, they won an award, design yeah, award yeah. and everything. So it's very nice, I, I've always wanted Rage to foster that kind of thing and have local guys who are interested in gaming. But the entry is a very prohibitive in terms of cost and manpower and so on. Yes, so the indie scene is where it's at and that's something everyone should support as much as they can. I know you guys have got your uh, the thing starts tomorrow. I think at ten o'clock. Yeah, and it runs through sometime about what, the one. Show? Uh, the game development stuff. You guys got a whole I, bunch I, of. I don't, know, I don't know the exact schedule. Someone's got a piece of paper okay. somewhere. Uh, I actually have it here. <laughs> so it's at ten, and it runs okay. through to four tomorrow. Yeah. And I have various chats with the experts there. Microsoft's involved with that as well. 
Yeah. I know that. So it's pretty cool. It's nice to have that sort of thing. I mm. know, well, as I said, there's a Windows develop, uh, 7 uh, development run right at the end. Okay. And I know from the things, they're the only guys apparently have a market in this country where the local developers can actually sell their, their stuff so far. Uh, oh, do they? Okay. iOS and uh, Android well, SEO don't no, have, I so. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not clued up enough on that to okay, talk about sorry. it. So, yeah. you know. Cool, no worries. Um, I think that was most of the stuff we wanted to cover. Okay. Cool. Is there anything more you wanted to add? No, just uh, get to the show if you can. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> it's definitely worthwhile. We, we've already done a walk around. We're going to do some recording cool. just now. Um, it's way, it's bigger. Well, it feels considerably bigger yeah. than last year. Well, and there's a lot of exciting things going we on. We had to widen the aisles as well a little bit uh, at one stage because it gets too full on Saturday. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have more space to move around, then you know, it's like a problem because it gets too hot and annoying in here. So I like, I'm about the experience. That's what I, what I like to give people. Cool. How many, it's, this is your 10th? Ten? Nine. Ninth year. No, next year's 10. Uh, cool. And then people would expect something great, but I don't really know what to do about that. Sure. All right. Uh, you know, do you have any plans for next year's yet? I know, I know it's before no, November. Just, no, I can imagine. No clue. <laughs> going to see how well it goes this year and then no, from there. You know, it, it naturally evolves, a show. I, I, I don't guide it a lot, but they, everyone's got the right idea with it. They bring the right code, the right equipment, everything. So, like, the, it sort of takes care of itself the, in terms of the content of the show. So I never really worry about that. There's right. always new games and so on coming out. So. Yeah, and I can also imagine as each of you guys, you guys learn a bit more and go, we can maybe try this next year. Yeah, and precisely. So that's it. It's, not, it's not like other expos where you go every 10 years, it's fine. Like, yeah, every year is something different, which is what I like about it so much. But that's our industry. That's how it goes, you know. And it works. Thank you very much. Cool. cool. Awesome.